Katolinen kirkko sanoo, ettei Alberto Rivera ole koskaan ollut katolilainen. Tarkoituksena on pyrkiä tekemään Riverasta valehtelia. Alberto Rivera todistaa videolla, kuinka Vatikaani tunnusti Alberto Riveran olleen katolilainen. Todellisuudessa katolinen kirkko on valheesta ja Alberto Rivera puhui totuuden katolisesta kirkosta ja sen synneistä ja vääristä opeista. This is the first part that went out in 1979 under the title of Alberto, describing how I begin to deal under the conviction of the Holy Spirit after being raised a Roman Catholic from Roman Catholic family in a Roman Catholic country as is Spain, then how through the reading for the first time of the New Testament, I begin to felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit and the reading of the Holy Scripture. This is Alberto number one. And immediately after came out against great deal of opposition and rejection already from the first part, the second part, I will say the second part, as you can see here, of double cross. Speaking precisely about how the Lord Jesus Christ was treated not only once and betrayed not only once, but how his church is being betrayed by the apostasy that began to take place within her from the early days of the Christian church, according to John, 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. And then, against more opposition, more rejection, and now tremendous amount of slanders and accusations and set-ups and frame-ups in different countries and cities throughout the world against my testimony and Christ and the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ in my life, we begin to reveal where these accusations and slanders were coming from. And of course, we came into the Godfather as we brought even in the cover the three pictures of three of the main key popes and the dynasty of popes dealing with this precise conspiracy that was not only now against government and human race, but now against one individual, myself, as I was given to the Lord Jesus Christ and to his gospel, becoming my own consciousness a slave of the word of God. Finally, in approaching the other numbers, we brought about more revelation into the powers and the forces that were behind this conspiracy. The powers of darkness, the rule from the Vatican out to the rest of this planet. This is why the word Vaticanus, the root from the Latin expression, means center of a divination, center of spirits and demons. The fourth was the fourth part of the testimony of Christ and my life. And then we follow with the four horsemen when was less expected against so much not only opposition and slanders and accusation, but now against so much conspiracy and the economy, physically, morally speaking, against every action of my life, my ministry, and my service unto the Lord and to his church. The four horsemen came to give us more meaningful, pragmatically, dramatically idea of what these prophecies in the book of Revelation chapter 6 were all about concerning the riders of the four horsemen or of the four horses of the book of Revelation. These horsemen were given certain commissions 
under which I myself personally, as a Jesuit Roman Catholic priest, was already fulfilling prophecy without not knowing my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And suddenly, with more identity and prophecy concerning the very relationship of the Vatican not only with Israel but with the Muslims and the Arab countries and fulfillment of prophecy we brought about the prophet as led of the spirit of the Lord himself I have no other alternative but in coming to number six not by accident but again by fulfillment of prophecy and dealing with the mark of the beast the mark of the Antichrist and there next to the kingdom of the Antichrist follow precisely by apostasy against the Church of Christ against the governments of the earth and against the races and nations and tribes of this planet we brought again more prophecy in view of all the history of the persecution of the Church of Jesus Christ beginning very early with the Apostles of the Lord there is the great Holocaust number one number seven this is number seven that was never expected I said much less expected before and number five and coming to number six because by arriving to the publication of number six the enemies of the gospel and those who already were sympathizing with them directly or indirectly they already believe that that stopped already in number six what a surprise and what a mighty miracle of God himself when we were blessed with the publication by our own ministry of number seven of the great holocaust part first of number seven and there you have already why we are calling now your attention to the Vatican's confession because beside all this documentation and much more that was even revealed by men of God as was published and is Alberto for real as witnesses of the witnesses of the Holy Spirit in their life and to our history concerning the behavior of this great horror of the Roman Catholic system immediately is Alberto for real become the documentation that was needed once again to put an end to so much of slander accusations frame up set up and all kinds of boycott against the publications but now came something more powerful the greatest miracle of them all not only through these publications but something more powerful was already under God's sovereignty to take place the Vatican's confession and there we are in the Vatican's confession here we are with a copy of the original edition of what is called entitled World Projection a translation from the Spanish title that you see Projection Mundial this is Projection Mundial World Projection is the title of the official Roman Catholic magazine that for the first time against so much of denial in different magazines and different newspapers not only from the Roman Catholic institution but even from Protestant sources and apostasy 
and from even Pentecostal sources in apostasy, and from every other direction around the world, from Asia to Africa, from Europe to Hispano America, and even North America and in Canada, all over the world, the spreading of the world that already the Vatican has received and studied and reviewed these so-called comics that reveal the conversion of the Roman Catholic Jesuit priest Alberto for the first time against even those who were in taking part and side with the Vatican and for their own shame and for their own judgment under God's own judgment the Vatican in 1991 published for the first time in their official theological and philosophical magazine something shocking, dramatic, shocking because I myself I was not even praying, I was not even expecting, I was not even dreaming that God and his own sovereign power will allow me to be blessed, not only, but to be justified by him, by his power, by his own judgment, no judgment of any human court, but his own divine court, pass on judgment, over those who reject, attend, oppose, and pervert the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this cover of world projection, the Roman Catholic magazine that deal with the dogmas and theology and canon laws of the Roman Catholic institution, that deal with the official business of the Vatican, from the popes to the cardinals to the archbishops and bishops and the rest of the clergy all over the world. This very magazine and their very cover have a subtitle right here, as I pointed to you here, below the official title of the magazine on the top. The subtitle that became the title of the five pages that were dedicated or six pages that were dedicated to the comics so-called the testimony of Christ in my life as they begin with number one of Alberto in the series of the Alberto series that relate my conversion to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ has now given me, and that very title has given me another title that I was not even expecting. The title is Zal, Superman Against the Pope. As you can see now by bringing and calling your attention to the inside pages where this work begin right here, and these very pages Allow me to show first the first side of the magazine now. And there you have precisely the title that was given to the rest of the pages that were dedicated one by one of the issues of the Alberto series in a special, an official review of what the Lord has given me to write and to declare and to reveal as they happen throughout the years of my experiences from my childhood as a Roman Catholic child born and raised in Roman Catholicism in my own country, Spain, a Roman Catholic country. Now they declare that the Roman Catholic priest Alberto Rivera has now write this series, wrote this series, beginning with Alberto, where he revealed, declared how he found Christ after he left the Roman Catholic 
church. These are a translation of the quotation right here in the second page of this work of the official magazine of the Vatican Confessions. I would like to refer you not only to the entire set of the series of Alberto plus the book called Is Alberto for Real? but now as the greatest implementation to what already has been revealed since 1979 in fulfillment of God's prophecy to show that the Lord's prophecies are being fulfilled not in a general manner but in a very personal, individual fashion on every Christian, on every man of God, on every member of the body and church of Jesus Christ of our Lord and Savior. These are a clear, dramatical demonstration that the Lord's prophecies are with us. In some cases, against it, for those who pervert his word and his gospel, in some cases, and your protection and your defense when you comply with his commandment. The Lord Jesus Christ in chapter 14 of the Gospel of John said, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Even Moses was granted the revelation of giving to the people of Israel two tremendous lists of blessings and curses. And the Lord promised blessings to those who keep his commandments and curses to those who despise them and pervert them. Here, you are able, through this video and audio cassette, to receive a copy, a copy of the original magazine, of the Roman Catholic magazine, once that you requested. I call your attention to the fact that more than never before throughout the history of this publication, Alberto Double Cross, the Godfather, the Force, the Four Horsemen of the Book of Revelation, the Prophet, and now the Great Holocaust Part One, never before as this publication has reached millions, not only thousands, but millions of Roman Catholic people and millions of Christians around 156 countries since 1979 without promotion, without assistance, without any commercial dealings, but only under the power of the Holy Spirit against the greatest powers and forces of darkness, this message, this prophetical message, this evangelistic message has reached the souls of millions of people of which millions has been converted to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Never before the Lord has been so honored in dealing with Christian publications as in these prophetical times that we live in. From the Protestant Reformation until this very day, no other Christian publication has suffered more rejection, more attack, more opposition, more conspiracy against it than this publication. These are the Vatican's confession about Alberto. You must reach for it. And you must urge every person, every Roman Catholic, to read this confession along with the books of Alberto. Praise be the Lord. We are so encouraged, so blessed as never before. You must rejoice with the angels in heaven, all the church of Christ, all the servants of God, we all must rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ as we see now that we are coming to the end of times. The signs and the prophetical signs are with us and we are more than conquered. 
we has become victorious under the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. I urge you to confess Christ as your Lord and Savior. I urge you to commit yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ and confess him and welcome him into your heart that you may be forgiven, that you may be blessed as you repent and confess Jesus as your personal Redeemer and Savior. I invite you to do so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a promise among many others for you, the mighty promises of God. Among those many promises for you, the Lord Jesus said that whosoever shall call upon his name shall be saved. Call upon the name of Jesus and get saved. Be saved now and forever. You are to be the inheritor of everlasting life. Now is your decision. As I pray before the throne of God, I ask you to pray with me. Our Heavenly Father, as we go before the throne of grace, I ask you, O Lord, to hear the prayers of those who now watch and hear this message. As I commend them to you, O Lord, I ask thee to bless them, to forgive them, to welcome them into thy kingdom as thy children, as they are washed by the blood of the Lamb. Preserve them under the seal and baptism of the Holy Spirit. Keep them under the blood of the Lamb and preserve them from evil until the day of the coming of our Lord and Jesus Christ. We thank you, thee, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.